before you leave, can you clean up? Make sure you stock up. What? Stock up for what if there's roaches around? It ain't like it's a safe place to be stocking any any good food up any any damn way. Like YouTube, this is your boy King Bound, and we are back with another YouTube video, man. And I hope y'all having a good Sunday night. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell, alright? Because you don't want to miss anything on my channel. And y'all already can tell your boy got a boy got a new hairstyle rocking, you know what I'm saying? But uh yeah, man, this is gonna be a good, good video. Only well, for the most part, it's a it's gonna be a very why does it have to be this type of video? You know what I'm saying? Only because it's Popeyes and I like Popeyes, but uh, I'm not really going to get into much because y'all already can tell by the title that Popeyes gets exposed for having family of roaches, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're going to go ahead and get into this video and let's do this. I hope y'all like it. Kita, let me ask you, first of all, what's it like a day? Did you took this video when, yesterday? Yep, last night. Last night. And um, first of all, uh, how long have you been working at this Popeyes? And um, uh, and when did you start noticing the, the bad conditions? I know. Okay, I'm going to pause it right there. So, on the left side, you get, well, the right side, you got a clip of a girl that's talking. And I'm guessing she's getting interviewed or re interviewed by a reporter. And, you know, she's pretty much the one who's recording the video on the left that's showing how how bad it was and apparently you know i don't know i don't know what's gonna ha i don't really know what's gonna happen because i just i'm just now reviewing this video but i know she's gonna expose a lot of things so i'm not gonna you know talk very long well I, i'm gonna be i'm gonna pause it every now and then to give my inputs and my intake on it but at the end of the day i'm just gonna you know listen to her side and see what she has to say and look at the evidence that she has on her video that she recorded on her phone and we're gonna go from there all right but let's get back into this video i just did my first week there but i've been there for like three or four weeks now and and what what sort of the conditions did you notice inside okay first i want to open the door let you in it's like a bunch of worms like along the wall like little black dead worms and like puddles of water i was i asked okay do they not see what the fuck is going on what the hell is this what is this Should we be concerned? If anyone has ever ate at Popeyes or loves Popeyes, enjoys Popeyes, that's watching this video, whoever worked at Popeyes before, that's looking at this video, if you never ate Pop Popeyes or ever worked at Popeyes or any of that, and you're looking at this video, should you be concerned? Should you be concerned? Hell yeah, you should be concerned. I don't even think that was even a, a, a clever question for me to even ask. But obviously, it's not clever for them to sit there and leave it like that. And I wonder what the management had to say. Or what the management, you know, decided to do. And hopefully she's gonna clear that, clarify that up too in the video. So we are gonna go ahead and get click back into this. So like while these worms here, they say just put hot water on it. They are gonna slide into the um the drain, so they gonna disappear. So so we do that or whatever every day. So then when you finally get back there, first off the tenders they be they cook the tenders in the morning. They be sitting there all day. Every time somebody order, all they do is re re drop the tenders. So I've been doing not to eat no tenders. The biscuit pans, they use, they recycle them. Like, you know, when you take the biscuits off there, they just set more biscuits on top of there and put it inside the fridge instead of washing it off. It's just so much that so, I was just like, no. 
And for people that are just joining us, uh, Sh uh, Shakita has been working there for three weeks. She quit yesterday after this, con after the, seeing the conditions. Um, and we'll post the video that Shakita took on our Facebook page also. And Shakita, talk about the video. Uh, what made you decide to record that video yesterday? Because she's All smart. Right, I was, um, he told me to stock up before I can leave or whatever. So I'm stocking up. I told them when I when I first found out they had roaches, I told them I'm not messing with the back area. like Because period. of the roaches. Yes, yeah, like it's more. It's and more. I'm going to stop right there. I agree with her. I don't care if you told me my, my before I had to leave, I had to clean off a shelf. I ain't cleaning off a shelf with roaches running around. You got me effed up on so many levels. Before you leave, can you clean up? Make sure you stock up. What? Stock up for what if there's roaches around? It ain't like it's a safe place to be stocking any any good food up any any damn way. Like, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this video so far, man. If y'all feel is the same way I feel, feel the same way this young lady feels, y'all y'all let me know, man, because this is outrageous. This is this is ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. Mostly roaches in the back. It's some in the front, but the majority of them is in the back because that's just stuff that just be sitting there. So they made their stuff at home. So I told him I wasn't messing with the back. He still told me to stock up, so I had to go to the back and get a box. I knew it was going to be a roach in there because I seen where it came from, where a bunch of roaches at. So I'm like, I'm about to record this. That nobody believed me last time when I told them about the roaches going up my rainbows and rice because I didn't record it or I didn't expect it. Like it was unexpected, right. but this time I knew. So, and just to uh, bring people up to speed because uh, a lot of people don't know what's going on. Uh, hi, Jera. Hi, Maria. What's happening is uh, Shakita took a, a video that's gone viral now of the conditions inside this Popeyes at Seven Mile and Gratiot. Um, and uh, and, the, and the, just, the conditions look pretty restaurant is closed. And you're going to see more of that on Action News at 5 o'clock. And, and Shakita, talk about some of the stuff in the video that uh, has been the most alarming. Um, the most part was that roach. And then not only that, it was two of them. One of them jetted out the thing. And he Why would the managers even allow that to not even be why would they allow that to be empty my thing is that ain't even enough ice to even fill up a full cup a large full cup at that and then left the and then the scoop is in there. Not only that, I don't know if y'all was paying attention, but that floor don't even look like it ain't been swept or mopped. And I ain't go and I ain't finna say it don't look like it been swept and mopped in a couple of days, cause that floor look like, whew, it look like it ain't been swept and mopped in like a few weeks, a few months. I'm very concerned, man. That is that's that is not how things are supposed to be, man. And you want people to actually enjoy and go out and eat fast food. But dang. When you have a place that's infe infested like that, like what are you doing with yourself? Like, what are you doing? Where is the health department at? They didn't even get no pest control in there. Like, they need to do... That is crazy. Like... And then... Oh, man. We're going to get right back into this video, man. He going to tell me to step on it. That's the part that killed me. Like, no, I'm not about to step on y'all cousins. Like, y'all know y'all know these brooches. They've been here all this time. I'm not <laughs> stepping on them. She... <laughs> she said, I ain't finna step on y'all cousins. That's funny, man. I mean, I'm just like her. I'm guessing since, you know, you sitting there talking about some ignore. Apparently, the manager said ignore the roaches, act like they're, they're not there. 
I'm just like her. Like, I don't want to step on your, your, like, you act like, they act like the roaches is their family members. That's why she, that's why she said that, that funny little remark she had said a few minutes ago, talking about something, you know, I don't want to step on y'all cousins, because, I mean, they, the managers act like, and the other workers act like, dang, like, the roaches is your family, like, you know, don't nobody want to work around and be around that? That's like going to somebody's house. And they're and they had and you know you hey can I get a glass of water oh yeah sure you can go and get you something to drink and you go and go and try to get you something to drink and they got roaches all around they sinks and you know they table and stuff like ugh like I I don't wanna I don't wanna get no glass of water in nobody house with roaches and stuff running around like let no one try to sit here and you know drink something or cook some food for somebody at a restaurant full of roaches like I feel her and that's just crazy for management to have that type of mentality. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just... Not everybody is manager material. That's all I got to say. It's the truth. Whether anybody gets mad, anybody, you know, disagrees. It's the truth. Not everybody is manager material, man. Like, for real. We're going to get back into this video, though. Then he gonna go off on me. First of all, you my manager. Just not how you speak to me. And then not over no roaches. Like you told me when I first signed up here, they said the conversation was chicken, pies, and fries. Some junk like that they said. Why are we discussing roaches and <laughs> flies? Like that's not what you told me that we was gonna be doing. So And you're saying that they just told you when it comes to the roaches, just step on them? Yeah, and I'm not supposed to scream. Like it's normal to me. This is not normal. What you mean? If I see a roach, yeah, I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna make sure everybody's alert so somebody can come kill it, because I'm not killing it. I'm not about to bother them at all. And we're talking about folks that are just joining us. We're talking about the Popeyes at Seven Mile and Gratiot. Again, the Detroit Health Department is there right now. Um, after Shakita's video went so viral much overnight, what uh, this they lady just, just got done saying, like, after this video that this young woman posted up, it went viral, and the next day, the health department came in and investigated on the restaurant, on the Popeyes, and. Uh, she also said Detroit Health Department, so obviously this is in Detroit, so, whew. This is a sticky situation, man, like, matter of fact, this ain't even, like, and this ain't, I don't know, man, it's just don't, I just don't understand why you would let something like that go so long, like, that is a big, huge problem. Yes, that could have been fixed in a matter of, uh, of a couple of days, probably a couple of hours, who knows, but the fact you let that go on, and she said it's been like that for years, so obviously somebody or a lot of people don't really give a fuck about their job, and you shouldn't be like that, because you make every, you make like, you making the whole brand of Popeyes look bad because one restaurant, one Popeyes restaurant out of all the Popeyes restaurants is that disgusting. And you make every single restaurant in, that's Popeyes all around America look bad. We're going we gonna to go in to get back to this video. Decided to move in. You tried to report this to the health department, uh, what, a week or two ago? Yeah, two weeks ago. But yeah, I told them that my job got roaches, and they never came. They, this, I guess they thought I was joking. And this was just a phone call. That, that It was a phone call that you re to report the, the restaurant conditions? Mm -hmm. And uh, did you come out until you, and so yesterday you just decided, you know, I got to post. Uh, I will say this, though. Um... If y'all want, I'll make sure I have the link of the original video down in the description down below, just in case if y'all want to check the full video out. Um, like I said, this video came out like four or five days ago, all right? I probably, actually, I probably didn't even tell y'all that, but it did come out four or five days ago. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, let you guys hear my intake and let you guys see my reaction of it. I hope you guys like my reaction. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And like I said, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel hit that notification bell too because you don't miss anything i'm posting up three videos every single week all day long 
and we finna hit a road we finna uh hit 300 subscribers so let's go ahead and make it to that road man and let's do it together and also like and comment to this video and also follow me at the three social medias in the description down below king bound for instagram king bound two for snapchat and marquise 9898 for twitter and i will see you guys in the next video y'all enjoy y'all sunday night take care be safe i love y'all and until then peace i'm out